Oh, it's Wednesday, hump day. How you feeling day? Good to see you. Big waves to you. Big waves to you. All right, all right. So everybody that's a part of our company, remember that Miss Andrea Rosser has changed her call to tonight, uh, Wisdom Wednesday, and she's got tons of wisdom. So Wisdom Wednesday. Um, so look forward to that tonight. And we have a special birthday today. And her name is Cindy White. Alan White, you got to tell Cindy happy birthday. And um, I had to call John Frick yesterday and say, I had to message him and say, listen, happy birthday, happy birthday. And he said, thank you for don't, thank you for not singing. That was a gift in itself. Um, just kidding. But uh, John, I hope you had an amazing birthday. And, and Alan, tell Cindy, we hope she has an amazing day today. Um, all right. So the word for today is boundaries, boundaries. And I got it and started looking over it and then started digging down into it and went, what does it mean for me? What does it mean for me? So I hope all these words can mean a little something different depending on the life you're in right now, the, the win you're in, the struggle you're in, wherever you're at, a word can change all different type meanings. So if you look at the definition, it's a line that marks the limits of an area. Drawing a line in the sand. It, it, it marks the limit of an area. And I come across this and, and got to thinking about it. Have you ever had anybody in your life that like throws a fit because like you set a boundary? And, and I picture that little kid that's laying down on their belly, just kicking and screaming like, like mad because you didn't do the exact thing they wanted. Have you ever, you ever been there? Maybe you have. I have. So if someone throws a fit because you set boundaries, it's just more evident the boundary is needed. I've actually been on both sides of this. I've been the one kicking and screaming because I'm ticked off because I'm not getting what I want. And then I feel like I've had people in my life that I've set a boundary for and they were the ones kicking and screaming. And so that's where I went this morning. Mandy Hale said this, it is necessary and even vital to set standards for your life and the people you allow in it. Um, and so I went with personal boundaries, like personal boundaries are the limits and rules we set for ourselves with relationships. And so many times when I think about a relationship, I'm thinking about the people like that's in my family, like, 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 you know, those type relationships, but really we live a world of relationships. We live every day where it's business relationships acquaintances, like people that we deal with every day. So personal boundaries are the limits and rules we set for ourselves with relationships. Um, and then I don't know, Andrea, if you even have it to show, if you don't, it's okay. But how many of you deal really with saying no? Like no is a tough thing for you to say. Like, let's just say that you're, not drinking alcohol. And then you go out with some buddies and they try to, you know, they they do and, and you just have a tough time saying, no, 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 I'm not doing it right now. But y'all go ahead. Or maybe it's the dessert. Or maybe it's the person in your life you care most about that you have to just say no, you know? It's, it's something you don't want for yourself. So what is a boundary? And I put this right here it's be aware of what is unacceptable and normalize saying the word no. It's okay to say no. Do what is best for you and know that it's not your responsibility to sacrifice yourself 
for others. Now, when I first read that, I went, I do think that we 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 live a life of sacrifice. If we really like we live a life of, of, of sacrificing for other people around us, I don't think that's a bad thing. But I think in this form where it's talking about boundary, and it says be aware of what is unacceptable and normalize saying no. Do what is best for you and know that it's not your responsibility to sacrifice yourself for others. So my question, I guess not my question, but my hope, thanks, Andrea, for that. My hope is for myself, but also for you, that you, you figure out your boundaries in life. And I know for me, I'm 47 years old. There's a lot of things in my life that I'm like, man, I'm 47. This is probably just the way it's going to be. Or this is something I've set into motion some time ago, and I just got to continue walking that path. But when I looked at this today, I thought, no, I really don't. If there's something I don't want to do, say no. Say no. It's, it's, it's ultimately my life to live, my journey. And I've got to, at the end of the road, I've got to be willing to accept the choices I made. And I just believe that if I set those boundaries and I'm able to decide for myself what I want to do, even if I had to say no, uh, even if people kick and scream, it's that I own it, I control it. It's, 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 it's my ownership of my own life. So that might have been a little bit deep, but that's where I went this morning. Andrea, I'll turn it to you. Well, we always appreciate deep coach, but you stole my quote again. So it's a good thing that I had two, and I love that we are on the same page there. So the second quote that I found or the other quote was your boundary is only a problem for those who don't know how to respect you. And I am a people pleaser. I would say I'm a recovering people pleaser, but I'm not sure that any recovery has happened just yet, but we're growing, we're trying. Um, so boundaries, oh my goodness. Like I've read about these before. I've heard this word, you know, I've looked into it, but man, can they feel really hard. And as I was kind of digging into it, what I found was knowing how to set boundaries is essential, an essential social skill, but it's absolutely overlooked. And if we think about kind of like how we raise our kids, uh, well, I don't know about you, but about me, we kind of raise, I can raise these children to have wishy-washy boundaries. So, you know, they don't want to say hi to somebody in the grocery store and their little body is telling them no, no, no. But we say, don't be rude, be polite. Or, you know, somebody disrespects them or is mean to them on the playground. And we say, well, don't we, you know, we've got to make the peace. We don't want to ruffle any feathers. And like, there's so much that we can be raised with that we can bring with us. So then when we see a boundary, it can be a little daunting. It can be like, oh, like if somebody, like we all have those people in our life that are really good at setting boundaries. And for some of us that aren't, when we see it, we can go, oh, well, that was, that was so direct, that was so abrupt, but really they're just being healthy. So healthy boundaries can help people define their individuality. Um, they can help us indicate what we will and we will not hold ourselves responsible for. And I think that's the key, because when I was kind of looking into this, sometimes we can think that a boundary is a rule for somebody else, but really it's not. It's a rule for ourselves. So um, boundaries are all based on clear communication. And as Brene Brown says, clear is kind, unclear is unkind. So the more precise we can be, the more likely that our boundaries will be respected. And, you know, I don't think most people are running over our boundaries because they're mean-spirited or they're selfish or they're disrespectful. 
It's that they don't know they're there. We all have different things that we're comfortable with. And if we don't express that, how is somebody else going to respect it? So if we want to reclaim our energy and our time and our power, we have to learn how to set boundaries. So how? Doesn't have to be super complicated, but how do we do it? First of all, we've got to define our limits. So what supports me versus what detracts from my well-being? And it could be, you know, something small, like the kids don't talk to me until I've had my coffee, or it could be something big. I don't know. I, I'm having a hard time thinking of a big one right now, but it could be anywhere, but we've got to define it first so that we can express it. Next, we have to openly communicate our boundaries to the people in our life. And we have to know the difference between a demand or maybe even a complaint and a boundary. And I actually just saw a reel on this the other day where it was saying, you know, if if I tell somebody, don't yell at me, that's not a boundary. A boundary would be, if you continue to yell at me, I'm going to leave the room. So if you do X, I'm going to be to do Y. And the Y is where I set my boundary and my reaction. So it's not a demand on the other person. It's my reaction that we're actually putting the boundary around. Um, remind people if needed. So we all forget. Like, you know, my sister says, don't call me after or before, you know, 7 a.m., but there's a two hour time difference. And I get excited to tell her something and I'm calling her at five her time. Well, she can remind me. It doesn't mean that she doesn't love me and it doesn't mean I don't love her, but she can just give me that gentle or not so gentle reminder. Andrea, if you wake me up one more time this week, I am going to put your name on block and I'd go, oh shoot, I'm so sorry and work to respect that boundary. And then lastly, don't be afraid to say no. Not everything is going to serve us. Not every you know, thing that's asked of us, not everything that's even, you know, necessarily required of us in certain situations is going to serve us. So we have to learn, as I saw um, Arlene put in here, sometimes we have to learn that the best yes is actually a no. So learning to say no and not be afraid of it can be very powerful. So thank you for this one, coach. I appreciate it. And uh, happy birthday to John, a day late and a dollar short. And Cindy, too. <laughs> yeah, great lesson, Andrea. Happy birthday, Cindy White. John, again, hope you had a great day yesterday. Guys, we love you. We appreciate you. Have a great Wednesday. See you back tomorrow.